Hey, how's it going? How old are you, man? I'm 22. Okay, how can I help you? All right, so um, I'm just looking for, like, basically relationship advice um, after, like, something happened to me. Um, essentially, I was with um, the same girl all throughout college, like, since freshman year. Mm -hmm. And um, just, I guess, like, this is more, this is not really relevant, but she never, like, or we never, like, did anything. We were just, like, like close in general, like relationship wise, but what is that? Hold um, on, hold on, hold on. We never did anything. What does that mean? Like, never I'm still a virgin. like I, yeah, I guess we never like had sex. Is that, is that on purpose? Um, well, I, I brought it up like once or twice and she would, um, she was just not really like for the idea. So I never wanted to like bug her with it. So, okay. Hold up, Cody, before we even get into the story, how long were you with this girl for? Um, since fresh, so a little more than we're we're approaching four years, but we're we're currently taking a break from the relationship. Four years since you yeah, were eighteen, since you twenty two, and she ain't gave you no pussy yet in four years. No, no, <laughs> bro, come on, bro. Okay, I know, okay, I, I, okay, but I just okay. I didn't want to bring it up. You didn't want to bring what up? The hell, you mean you didn't want to bring it up? Did you like, want to have sex? Well, I mean, I it's crossed my mind. I just didn't want to, like, Cody, Cody, ask her. Cody, yeah, Cody, Cody. If you have a girlfriend that, and you want some intimacy, this is not your pen pal. This is not your buddy, buddy. What the hell you mean? You brought it up. How the hell did you get in a relationship with that from, with a girl who's not giving you no booty? I mean, that's like what I thought. I mean, I thought that I would never really need. I just thought it would come with time. I mean, like four you know, years. It's been it's been it's been almost yeah. half a decade, bro. It's been know, almost half a decade. Go ahead, go go ahead, bro. Go all ahead. right. So, but right now we're we're taking a break because she doesn't think that I can provide financially, like moving forward out of college. Uh, hold up! Hold up! Oh hell no! Oh hell no! The girl who ain't gave you no ass. Wants to take a break because you haven't provided, but she hasn't provided no booty. Yeah, but I didn't. I never looked at it that way. What the hell? What, what the fuck, Cody? Are you, are you listening to yourself, bro? I know it sounds bad when I say it, but it it seemed like a normal relationship to me. A normal relationship where you're not having sex with your girlfriend? That's yeah, not a normal would, relationship, bro. I mean, we would like like kiss and stuff. But I guess we just never like Cody. Cody, yeah. is she a virgin? Um, I I've asked, but anytime I talk about it, it's like a touchy subject for her. So oh I don't know. my god! Oh I hell! Think she is. I think she. Oh is. hell no! Oh hell no! So she ain't even a virgin, and she making you wait four years? Well, I, I'm I'm assuming she's a virgin. I don't know what she did in high school. Cody, Cody. Cody, come on, bro. What you been living under a rock? You got a girl. Cody. Yeah. I need I you guys to pull y'all head out your own ass, man. My goodness. You were with a girl for this long. She she's not a virgin. And she's making you wait for four years. And now she's telling you that she don't think you can provide. Yeah, which I mean, I think. Like now, I can provide a little bit more. Why the so fuck providing for shit? I'm not providing for a goddamn thing. You should not. You provide for what? A girl who haven't given you no ass in four years? I know, but I, I really like. I love her. You know. And you know I you don't. don't. No, you don't. You don't love a goddamn thing. She's the only girl who gave you attention. You don't love Maybe. shit. You love my ass. Who the hell did you love? She, she, she I, gave you attention, Cody. Now you love her. Well, I, I just, I never really thought about, like, sex too much. It wasn't, like, a priority to me. That's because you never got it. But you assumed that eventually you would get it with a girl that you had in a relationship with. You have sat up here and let this girl gaslight you into not even giving you no booty. Then she left your ass and told you you couldn't provide. Uh, I guess. This is highway. Know. This is highway robbery, boy. What in the world? This is this is grade A finessing right here. She needs to come on the stream. Hey, she needs to come teach us how the fuck did she finesse your ass for four years to not give oh. you no booty? 
It well, was. right now we're just we're kind of talking casually. I, you know, I, I Jeez, kind of letting I, somebody else hit Cody. Somebody else is in them guts. Somebody else is mashing, just well, like somebody else. Sure, but. Yeah, we don't. Just like we don't know that if she was smashing somebody else before you. Yeah, yeah. La La Land. You're living in a Disney movie. You're living in a fairy tale, bro. She played you. She played you. You got played. Okay. Okay, so then what you know, what should my main focus now be? Would it be to try to get her back or go for no. another girl? Why would you want to get a girl back who didn't let you smash for four years? Oh, she didn't I just let thought you she was the one. How? How what exactly made her different from other girls? Well, I well, I've never been with another girl. Exactly. So. Ex my exact point. She is no different from any other girl. She was only she was just the only girl who gave you attention. You guys pedestalize women out of scarcity. Most of men's problems is because we don't have another option. A lot of the bullshit y'all deal with when it comes to women is because you don't have another option. If you had two or three girls who you found attractive, you wouldn't be dealing with your girlfriend right now. Guarantee you, all you guys who have a girlfriend right now that's treating you like shit, that's not getting you no ass, that's disrespecting you, if you had two or three other girls, you wouldn't be dealing with her. So you're dealing in this, you're in a relationship where you're unhappy all because you don't have choice. Well, I was pretty happy in the relationship. I just, she just kind of brought it up out of nowhere that she just thought we should part ways. Because she was ready to go get some D. She, she, she tired of, she was tired of not, she was tired of not being stimulated. So she wanted to go I get stimulated I elsewhere. I don't understand that. Like I have a, like I have a D. But, but she, 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 you, if she wasn't interested in getting it from you. I mean, I. I thought so. I don't know. I don't know if that was the reason she broke up with me. She told me it was more money. Uh, money yeah, reason. okay. That's what it is. A, a college student. She's expecting you to provide. How do you fall for this bullshit? Does she I, have a job? She doesn't have I've just been working. Oh, my God. Y'all, are y'all hearing this? Is everybody hearing this? She doesn't have a job. She didn't let him hit for four years. And she told him the reason why she's leaving is because he can't provide. When she doesn't have a job. I won't. Provide for what? Just like like date nights and stuff. I would she don't have her job. What the hell is she talking about? She don't got no money. Yeah, that's true. So so you let a girl. Br we need a moment of silence for you, Cody, bro. I, don't know. I just I don't do know what to do now. Silence. You know, we, we need I've a never... moment. Of silence. This is unbelievable, Cody. This is unbelievable. I think this is probably one of the craziest stories I ever heard. You let a girl basically finesse you for four years. You got nothing out of it. And then she left you for some shit that she doesn't even have. Yes, but I just like, I'm still like attached to her. Like, I guess you're not attached like, to her. You know, you're not bullshit. She's the only girl who gave you attention, Cody. Have you ever kissed another girl? Uh, no. Right. So, Cody, what are we comparing her to? <laughs> Nothing. There's nobody yeah. else to compare her to. She's the only one. <sighs> I just, I don't know how I would go about approaching new women. Yeah, here we go. This is what I'm here for. You start to try. You first need to be aware that you got finessed and that you that should never happen again. Guys, this is man, man. You motherfuckers are lucky I'm on this side. Good, it can't be this easy. You mean to tell me I can have a dude in my life for four years, not give him no booty, and then leave him and, and say he can't provide when I don't even have a job? What yeah. in the world is going on? Listen, you can't let this happen to you again. You do not be with a woman who is not romantically interested in you if that's what you want. Sex is important to me, guys. I'm not sugarcoating a goddamn thing. If we ain't fucking, we ain't talking. Because that's important to me. Sexual chemistry is important to me. If you don't like sex, maybe because you haven't had it, that's a different thing. But you, you sound like you wanted to at least experience it. And she didn't even let you experience it, but wasted four years of your damn life. And then left you for some bullshit. She gave you a bullshit reason why she left you. So I need you to wake up, snap out of it, wake up back into reality. This is not the kind of girl we need to get in a relationship with. 
because I just wasted four years of my life kissing, kissing, and getting blue balls. That's all you got for four years, blue balls. You got nothing out of this. So if I'm going to talk to girls moving forward, they need to bring something in my life. And yeah, if I just, I'm going to provide, hold up, Cody. If I'm going to provide, I'm going to provide for a girl who is adding to my life. Not a girl who is finessing me. Okay. I, I just like, I've never, I've never really had to think about um, anybody new. And I, I just, I feel like I would need some sort of connection with someone before um, we like, ever got to like sex or anything like that. You, you had a to, connection with a girl for four years who didn't let you fuck. So what are you talking about? Which connection? Connection what? Well, like I I just thought our connection would grow, but <laughs> I guess I was like wrong. <laughs> bro, there's no way in the world, bro. How many of you guys can connect without getting some ass? Raise a raise hand if you can connect. Everybody who watching right now, can you connect with a girl if she ain't fucking you? Because I can't. I don't know how you, I don't know what, what's connecting we're going to do. Connect with, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm good. All right, we ain't connecting on a goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I might see myself there one day. I just, now, especially after what happened, I just, I don't see myself, like, doing something like that. Like, just going to a party and, like, I'm not, up. I'm not asking you to. I'm not, I'm not telling you, hold on one second. Alexa, turn on desk light. Cody, I'm not asking you to go sleep around. I'm asking you to not waste another four years of your life, which is what you did. You spent four years with this girl who didn't even let you smash, and she left you for some bullshit. You got nothing out of this. You didn't even improve your sex game. You can't even, Man, if I'm going to be with a girl for four years, at least my dick game will be on point. I didn't mean, You got nothing. You didn't even get no experience. You got blue right. balls and kisses. So, I just, how, what am I looking for in a girl to like know that I guess she's providing for me, like you said? She has to be adding more to your life than you are adding to hers. She can't be telling you no bullshit like, oh, you don't have a job. Uh, 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 you need to provide for me when you, she don't got a damn job. Okay. And And listen, for most men, maybe not you yet, but sex is important to us. Because we share our emotional connection through sex. That's how we relate to a woman. I don't, I don't really connect if we ain't fucking. I don't even know if I like you. For you, that might take some time, but you don't want to be in a position where you're with a girl and like she's just using you for some free attention where she let somebody else fuck in the past. She just don't want to give you no booty. You well, were in I the just, I don't understand the why she would do that. Because when, Cody, you're a guy with no clue about women. You're an easy target. This is what I keep telling y'all about not understanding women and why it's it's a it's a one way street to to to, to lose a doom. If I if you get if I'm a girl who maybe who got who's tired of Chad and Tyrone, uh uh uh, uh, uh breaking my heart. Good old Cody that doesn't need some that doesn't, hasn't even been with a girl. He's going to validate my feelings and I don't even have to fuck him. Two. Sign me up. Where's the, where's, where's the pen and paper? Sign me up. Didn't she waste like four years of her life too? Like No. Just... Women love attention. You gave her free attention and validation. That's like us getting free sex for four years with, with no commitment. That's literally what it is. Imagine if a girl, all you guys who are watching, imagine a girl just came over and gave you some ass and left for four years. What? Sign me up. <laughs> Sign me up. Where's the I pen and paper? Not. What? Any girl to take that. That's an easy deal. Free okay. attention and validation. And then I can leave his ass whenever I want and then blame it. Make it, make it, let it, let the reason be some bullshit. Woo, sign me up. So, <clears throat> Should I start looking yeah. for like girls and talk to multiple at like once, or should I look for one girl that I no think looking for one girl is not what's going to help you right now. I want you to find listen, create a document, a document about what exactly you want from a woman. 
let sex be included in that because that's important to you. Let's stop dwindling. Let's stop minimizing that like it's not important to you. You eventually want to have a partner that you sleep with. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. So that's something. It doesn't have to be the first day, but you eventually want a partner that you can sleep with. So when you're dating women, several women, you got to be looking out for bad signals, looking out to see if she's trying to use you for attention. You got a whole lot of vetting that you need to be doing, bro. Okay. All right. Speaking of vetting, and listen, this is for you specifically. I don't want you to date any other girl in your life, Cody, until you do this. One second. This is for you, Cody. It's called my boundary blueprint. This is the boundaries you're going to have in your relationship moving forward. I want you to create a list. Create a list for those. All right. I got another one for you. I got an, I got another one for you called Street Smarts. So all you guys, this is to know if she's for the streets. So a girl can't finesse you moving forward. Every single Cody, you, the Street Smarts one and the Boundary Blueprint one, including everybody else in here. Download it. It's free. Okay. Thank all right, you. Man, have a good one. Guys. What we are not going to do, this is, this is coming from the bottom of my heart, guys. Do not let people try to create standards for you. Don't let society try to tell you what you should and shouldn't want from a woman. No, thank you. If, if What I believe as a man is what I'm going to get from my woman. There's no way you're going to fucking finesse my ass for four years, not give me no sex, and, and, then, and then I'm just supposed to be okay with that. 